Yeah.
in the name of the Lord. Thank you for this good opportunity. For the morning that we are together. At your home. Or wherever you are. And as you listen to us. I believe God will bless you. And your life will not be the same again. In the name of the Lord. It just reminds me what God has been doing in our life. Even in this season of COVID. That the Lord has, has taken care of us. And he will you keep on taking care of us. And that is what we, we were learning last, sun, last Sunday on the overcoming power of the Holy Spirit that is able to help us. He is able to lift us. He is able to counsel us. He is able to comfort us in every area that we are in. We do bless the name of the Lord. And I know that you have been pursuing. Pursuing just to uh, to make sure that uh, your life is okay. But today, I have another topic. And the topic is exhausted but yet pursuing the dream. You are exhausted, but you are yet pursuing the dream. Within you, you, have, you feel like you don't have the strength, but it's yet you are pursuing that dream. It is only the Holy Spirit power that is able to help us to go through the challenges and to accomplish our our dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God expects in a person to have a dream to fulfill in life. Always there is a dream that God has given to you or to every person to be able to fulfill in life. Whether in any area of your calling, there is something that you need to accomplish. A dream that you need to fulfill. I want just to go through about three points. And then we'll be done. I want to say number one. God saw a situation. And with a person to tackle it. Always God. When he sees a situation. He lift up a man. Or he lit a woman. He must lit a person to tackle the situation. Because God will use man. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to remind you there are so many situations that are there in the world that we are in. And it will take a person to tackle the situation. Hallelujah. Whether it is in a family. It will take a person to tackle the situation. Whether it is in a business, it will take a person to, take, to tackle that situation. Whether it is in a nation, God must lift a person. Hallelujah. A, a leader that will be able to tackle a situation. So there are situations that comes in life and God will actually lift up a person. To, ta to, to tackle a situation in the life that we are in. It does remind me uh, what is there in the book of J Judges. Judges chapter 6 uh, from verse 1. It actually is a good example that we need to learn from the children of Israel. The Bible says again that the Israel did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Again, the Israelite did evil in the eyes of the Lord. And for seven years he gave them into the hands of the Midianites. 
Because the power of the Midianites was so oppressive, the Israelites prepared shelters for themselves in the mountain cliff, caves, and stronghold. Whenever the Israelites planted their crop, the Midianites, the American Amalekites, and other Eastern people invaded the, the country. They come on the land and ruined the crop all the way to Gaza and did not spare a living thing for Israel, neither sheep, nor cattle, uh, nor, nor donkey. They came up with their livestock and their tent like swarms of locusts. It was impossible to count the men and their cattle. They invaded the land to lavage it. The Midian I saw improvised the Israelites that they cried out to the Lord for help. Uh, <coughs> Uh, mkono wa uh, Midiani uh, uh, mkono wa Midiani ulikuwa na nguvu juu ya Israeli tena kwa sababu ya Midiani wana wa Israeli walijifanyia hayo mash, uh, mashimo wana uh, mashimo yaliyo milimani na hayo mapango na hizo ngome uh, basi ikawa hapo Israeli walipokuwa wamepanda ma, mashamba wa Midiani wakakwea na wa, na wamaleki na hao wana wa mashariki wakakwea juu yao Uh, wakapanga marango juu yao na kuyaharibu hayo ma, ma, uh, maongeo ya nchi uh, hata ifikapo Gaza wala hawakuacha katika Israeli riziki ziwazo zote kondoo wala ngombe wala punda Praise the name of the Lord. Na Bwana litukuzwe. Again means they had actually did evil another time. Mara tena inamaanisha kwamba walikuwa wamefanya maovu tena. And when they did this, na wakati walifanya hivyo, the Lord allowed them to be in the hands of the Midianites. Bwana akawaruhusu wakakuwe mikononi mwa Midian. And so the Midianites ruined their crop. Wa Midiani wakaharibu mimea zao. They zao. came in big numbers like swarms of locusts. Wakakuja kwa nambari kubwa kama nzige. They loved the, the Israel and the Israel what they had to do was as before they cried to the Lord. They cried to the Lord for help. They were saying, God, may you come and intervene in this situation. Just like the way we are crying for the Lord, for the help, uh, for help because of the situation that we are in. That this thing, the pandemic has eaten so much in the lives of people, in the economy, of the of the country and even in the world and so the Israelites they remember their God and they say God you are the Lord of our fathers we understand the miracle that you do so we call you again have mercy on us so they call upon the Lord and so God came to their aid God actually brought Gideon is a very important character that we find here because God will always lift a person he lifted Moses to lead the, the children of Israel at this time he called Gideon and he realized Gideon was able to fulfill the dream hallelujah But when Gideon was called he saw himself small he saw himself coming from a very small family from a very small clan and he was wondering God of all people do you have to call me have you come from a very small clan from a very small tribe from a very small uh, uh, family and there were so many things that actually uh, Gideon had to ask himself praise the name of the Lord when Gideon, Gideon was called he was asking the Lord in verse 13 he said if God you are with us if God you are with us why has all these things happened to us 
kasema e bwana ukiwa bwana yu pamoja nasi mbona mambo haya yote yametupata why has all this happened to us mbona haya yote yametupata you know this is a question that even so many people have been asking themselves hii ni maswali ya kila mtu amekuwa akijiuliza god if you have been together with us as kenyan people bwana kama umekuwa nasi kama wa kenya why has all this thing happened to us mbona haya yote yametufanyikia he was asking those questions alikuwa anauliza maswali kama haya he hai. even had to ask the lord alikuwa hata auliza bwana where are all your wonders that we hear from our fathers our fathers told us about you hallelujah about your wonders praise the name of the lord so this was a question that this way a gideon was asking like anybody who would ask like you and me praise the name of the lord And you know he was being, he, he was asked a saying We understand God You are the one who saved us You brought us out of Egypt But God why have you come to abandon us here Hallelujah I know it's a cry Even in the time that we are in There are people who feel feel like they have been abandoned They have been left aside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, th- they, they think that God has gone for a journey. But our God is there. Our God is listening. Time is coming and God is, will, be, will, will act. Praise the name of the Lord. All what God is looking for is that there should be a man. There should be a person that need to tackle What the next question that we are in and we can only do it as we do it in prayer praise the name of the lord the lord want intercessors that will be able to accomplish this dream people will be able to intercede for the nation people will be able to intercede for the families he will be able to call upon the, the name of the lord god have mercy upon us He is looking for you and me as the man of the day you can become the gideon of the day hallelujah the lord has been with us the lord has no abandoned us that was the cry that was in the life of gideon gideon was troubled within he was wondering god if, if i go to actually uh, uh, follow the median people uh, now who will be with me because i feel like we have been abandoned but god say i want to remind you go and in the strength you have and save israel out of median's hand and he said to him am i not saving you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other word God is setting us. It is like the, the great commission. Where he said go ye and make men of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It means there is a commission. It means there is a sending. Because God there is a dream for us to fulfill hallelujah. hallelujah the question that we need to ask ourselves is am i one whom god is sending can i be sent of the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. Gideon was saying i am very weak i don't have the strength god i feel like i'm very small but the lord 
unto him and said to him, Go in the strength you have. Hallelujah. In other words, what God is expecting of us is to use the, 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 the retro strength that you have. When you use it in the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will be able to help you to accomplish the dream that you have in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether it is a dream that you have in your family, whether it's a dream that you have in your business, the Lord is able to help you. Call upon the name of the Lord and allow God actually to help you because God is looking for you that you may be able to tackle that situation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And number two, God call us uh, in a uh, uh, call us at, in, uh, in order to fulfill different purposes in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when God call us, He give us a dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a time when God actually call, He say, please, come, because there is a dream that you need to fulfill. It is not a time uh, that, that, you, that you need to walk over. Praise the name of the Lord. Because in the dream that God has given you, He will empower you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will give you the, the, the power. He will give you the strength. He will give you the provision. Even for that calling. When He called Gideon, He said to Gideon, Go in that strength that you have. And save Islam from the media and the media people. And he was said to him, Am I not sending you? Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, there are different purposes that God calls people in life. There are people who have been called that they may do very good business and be able to acquire a lot of uh, uh, money so that in that, that money that, go, that, that, that they get that they can be able to serve the Lord with their finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are the, the people who have been called to become major intercessors so that in that time uh, that they can be able to pray, to pray seriously before the Lord that they can be able to intervene for so many families. Deliverance can come for people who have been, uh, been in bondage. It could be that, it could be your call. It is a calling in life. People have been called to minister the gospel. And as they minister the, uh, uh, with zeal, the Lord is able to give them the power in the strength that they have. In other words, what am I telling you, friend? Nobody can say I don't have something. Nobody can say I don't have what it takes. You have the strength. You can be able to come to accomplish something to the glory of God. Hallelujah. You can be able to fulfill a dream to the glory of God. Hallelujah. You can be able to save people. You can be able to save a church. You can be able to save a nation by the strength that you have. Because with the strength that you have, the Lord will follow you to accomplish that dream. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to remind your friend. Do not say I, I, I am very young. Hallelujah. Do not say that I cannot make it. Do not say where I come from in our, our clan. Nobody is even born again. If I get saved, will I be able to save this, uh, these people? The Lord is able to help you even in the strength that God uh, you have. Hallelujah. He is able to lift you from there. From your 
spiritual strength from the strength that you have maybe the physical strength God is able to use you to accomplish a dream hallelujah number three hallelujah you know God wants to fulfill it in every day to day life God is watching I believe even now God is watching who is there that will be able to fulfill the dream even when COVID-19 is coming to an end God will have to use a man God will have to use that person that woman hallelujah in order to accomplish the dream praise the name of the Lord oh my God I pray in the name of Jesus that we may open our eyes and we may be able to ask ourselves what is the Lord saying to me could God be speaking to me in this three four months because he's watching for somebody to fulfill the dream you know he said to Jeremiah when he was calling Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse, uh, verse 12 you know he called Jeremiah and you know Jeremiah said that I am young hallelujah and, you, you know, and God was saying before I, be, be, uh, before you were born I knew you mm. I appointed you a, to be a prophet for the nation hallelujah I set you apart praise the name of the Lord that should be, uh, uh, should be in, in verse 5 but in verse 12 there is something that he had told Jeremiah he has said he had asked Jeremiah, Jeremiah what do you see hallelujah and Jeremiah said uh, I, 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 I see an almond tree Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, and the Lord said, You have seen a seed collector, for I'm watching to see that my word is fulfilled. Pray, praise the name of the Lord. He had asked Jeremiah, Jeremiah, what do you see? And he said, I see an, a branch of an tree tree. Uh, and, and the Lord said to him, You have seen collectry. Mm. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. For I am watching. Amen. Hallelujah. I am watching that my word will be fulfilled. Praise the name of the Lord. What is that dream that God has given you? You know, God is watching to see to it that that dream is fulfilled. Praise the name of the Lord. Did you allow God to use him? Even with a big number that he had. He had a, a, a big army. In terms of thousands. And the Lord was, uh, was saying. This is not the number. That I want you to go with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know Gideon was so committed. Because it was not the number, but it was the reading of the law. With only 300 people, he was able to save the Israel people from the hands of the Midians. Because it's not by might, but it's by the Spirit, says the law. Praise the name of the Lord. When Gideon obeyed, 
God revealed himself to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He revealed to him uh, himself to, to him uh, in his life through miracles. He was able to see God. The miracles of God. In his own life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember. Kumbuka. That not everyone. Will be able to embrace your dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you've got to be focused. You've got to obey the call, the call, the call of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You've got to see it collectively. Because God is watching. Hallelujah. That dream that you have. You've got to see it. You've got to focus it. Collectively. And do it with zeal. Because God is watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God because of his word. Remember even now. That God is watching. He is watching. What are you doing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you doing in your life? What are you doing in your family? What is that dream that you want to accomplish? Is it a business to help your family? Is it a, 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 a work that you want to support the church? You know, God is watching. In whatever thing that you want to focus, He is the one who is going to help you. And understand not everyone will be able to tell you Hongera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, this one remind me what the Bible says in, in Judges uh, chapter 8 from 1 to 6. <coughs> Bible say now the the Ephraim, Ephraimite asked Gideon, why, "Why have you treated us like this? Why did you call us when uh, you went to fight the Midians?" And they criticized him sharply. But he answered them, "What have I accomplished, accomplished compared to you? Are the, the greeting of Ephraim's great better than the full great?" A harvest of Abiyatha. God gave Oleb and Zib, the Benjamite leaders, into your hand. Uh, what was I able to do compared to you? At, at this, their resentment against him subsided. Gideon and his 300 men, exhaust, exhausted, yet keeping up the pursuit, came to Jordan and crossed it. Uh, he said to the men of Sarkov, give, uh, give my, my troops some bread, and they, they are worn out, and I'm still pursuing Ziba and Samuna, and the, king, the kings of Midian. But the officials of Sarkov said, do you already have the, the hands of Ziba and Samuna in your possession? Why should we give bread to your troops? Wamuzi eh, mlango wa nane mstari wa kwanza hadi mstari wa sita maandiko inasema basi watu wa Ifraimu wakamwambia kwa nini wewe tutendea sisi ha, eh, kama haya hata usituite hapo ulipokwenda kupigana na Midiani na wakateta naye sana lakini akawaambia je mimi nifanye nini sasa kama mlivyofanya ninyi hapo masazo ya zabibu za Ifraimu si mema kuliko Mavuno ya abezieri uh, Mustari wa, wa tatu Mungu akawa, akawa, a, Mungu amewatia hao wakuu wa mediani orebu za zebu mikononi mwenu na mimi nilipata kufanya nini kama mlivyofanya ninyi ndipo hasira zao walizokuwa nazo juu yake zikatulia aliposema maneno haya basi Gideoni akafika Yordani akavuka uh, uh, akavuka yeye na hao watu 300 waka uh, waliokuwa pamoja naye waliokuwa wali wamepungukiwa na nguvu lakini wakawafuatia waka, waka vivyo uh, naye akawaambia watu wa uh, sukothi tafadhali wapeni mikate hao watu waniandamao kwa maana wanapungukiwa na nguvu mimi ni 
e, nami ni katika kuwafuatia e, Zeba na Salmuna wafalme wa Midiani a, hao wakuu wa su, e, Sukodi wakasema je mikono ya, ze, ya Zeba na Salmuna hii mikononi mwako sasa hata sisi tukawape jeshi lako mikate you know Gideon is still pursuing the the the, uh, the, the, the enemies. And he met the, the Ephraimites and asked uh, and they they asked him. Why have you treated us like this? Why didn't you call us when you when you went to fight the Midians? And this one were not able to embrace his dream. They criticizing separate. But he was telling them, you, you people you could have done a better a better job. You are even better. Because God gave the, the, the leaders to you. The midnights were in your hand. But you did nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a person who, who, who has a dream. And everything has been put at his disposal. But he's not focused. He's not ready to accomplish. He is still crying. Praise the name of the Lord. It's like a person has been given a seed to go and plant so that there will be food but this person keep on crying oh my I'm hungry oh my there is uh, this oh my I, 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 the people have let me the serious is with him but he is not able to use that seed he continue to cry hallelujah cry for hunger but the, 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 the seed is laid with him that's what was happening to this uh, the people the Ephraimites they were criticizing Gideon for something they were supposed to have done the Lord had already put the, 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 the enemies at their disposal but they were not ready to do the job and Gideon was uh, telling them remember you are better you would have done a better job because God gave the leaders to you but you did nothing but what, whom am I compared to you hallelujah whom am I I even don't have these people with me I am still pursuing this, this enemy they were with you and you did nothing I am looking for them and I want to do something praise the name of the Lord this is the dream that God is calling you to accomplish what is that dream that God has given you are you still holding the dream or are you pursuing to accomplish that dream praise the name of the Lord it is not the mind that you have it is the little that you have in the hands of the maker praise the name of the Lord the little that you have in the hands of God that's what God wants to do that's what the Lord wants to use you know these people were only 300 men. The Bible says in Judges 8 verse 4 with only his 300 exhausted yet keeping to the pursuit they came to Jordan. In other words, they are moving. They are not stuck, they are not stuck in, in a place. They are moving in their spiritual journey. They are still moving in the world. They are still moving in the prayer life. They are still moving and encouraging other people. They are still moving and lifting other people's dream. Hallelujah. They are still moving to give glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says they came to Jordan. And hallelujah, they 
they closed it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were able to close. They closed the, the Jordan. In the, they never remained in the, in, in, the, in the past. Talking of the, talking of the past. The past failures. The past enemies. Who are there taking take, uh, 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 I mean eating our crops. Who are they actually terrorizing us? Who are they taking us captive? They forgot it ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After Jordan, they realized we are about. We are about to reach our goal. We are about to reach our dream. We are about to open the church. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 They realize that the dream is about to be accomplished. We are about to see the corona is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. So there were people who were pursuing. Pursuing after the enemy. With the Lord with him. Praise the name of the Lord. So they were not stuck at any praise. I want to remind you friend. Let's forget about the past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forget about the failures. Forget about the evil that you take. And remember the masses of God. Hallelujah. They, they did evil. But the, 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 the soldiers and, and Gideon, they were not led to remember that. They were led to pursue what the Lord told them to do. They were like David in first, in first Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. When uh, first Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. When actually he came from the battle together with the soldiers and he found their praise sick life has been burned. And the women and the children have been taken captive. And the Bible says the men imagine the men that, that they were together with, with King David. They were about to stone him. When, when they remember that they are women, their, their children, the families are not there. But David encouraged himself with the Lord his God. And he said to the Lord, Shall I pursue after this truth? Hallelujah. And the Lord said, Pursue, and you recover them more. David was led to pursue. He pursued and he was able to recover. Whatever was lost, he was able to recover. It was important to pursue. They were exhausted. Like the, like the Gideonites. And, and his team. But they, 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 they pursued on. I remind you, friend. I know we are praying for all this time. I know we have been calling upon the Lord for all this time. I know some other people are saying, where is God and we are praying now. But please don't rest until the battle is won. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't rest. Let us not rest until the battle is won. Even the dream that you have. Please don't rest until you have accomplished and you see the dream coming to reality. God actually uh, helped the dreamers. David was a dreamer. He pursued and he was able to get it. Gideon was a dreamer and he pursued and he caught it. Praise the name of the Lord. There was there, there, there were people who were there who were not able, able even to support them. He asked for them to support the, the, the men or, uh, in the battle. Please give them food. They refused. The men of Sarkov refused. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not every
everybody. Sio kila mtu. Who help you on the way. Atakusaidia njiani. But there are people. Lakini kuna watu. Who stand, who you, sorry, who uh, stand with you. Ambao watasimama nawe. The Bible says. Linasema. In verse 11. Katika mstari wa 11 wa 11. That Gideon went up by the route of the uh, of the nomads east of Nob and uh, God Beha and fell upon the unsuspecting army Ziba and Samuna the two kings of Media fell afraid but he pursued them and captured them looting their entire army and the Bible say in uh, verse 18 then he asked Ziba and Samuna what kind of men did you kill at uh, Tabo men like like you they an, they answered each one uh, one with the bearing of a prince Gideon replied those were my brothers the son of my of my own mother and as surely as the Lord lives if you had spared their life i would not kill you uh, turning to uh, to Jephthah Jitha, his older son, he said, kill them. But Jitha did not draw his sword because he was only a boy and was afraid. Ziba and Samuna said, come, do it yourself. As it, as is the, as is the man, so is his strength. So Gideon stepped forward and killed them and took the ornament of their camel's neck. Amen. Amen. Mstari wa 10 uh, wa 11 uh, na 12 uh, maandiko inasema uh, ya kwamba uh, Zeba na Selmuna walikimbia na yeye akawaanda akawaanda akawaandamia akawakamata hawa falme wawili wa mid, wa, mid, wa Midiani Zeba na Selmuna akalitapanya tapanya hilo jeshi Lote mstari wa tatu kisha huyo Gideoni mwana wa Yoashi akarudi kutoka vitani kutoka uh, kwenye ma, uh, makweleo ya Heresi mstari wa 18 uh, 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 wa nane kuteremuka maandiko nasema ndipo akawaambia hao Zeba na Selumuna hao watu walio walio wa, wa, wa huko uh, to, tobari wali, walikuwa watu wa namna gani wakamjibu uh, walikuwa kama wewe ulivyo kila mmoja alikuwa anafanana na wana wa, wa mfalme mstari wa 19 naye akasema watu hao walikuwa ndugu ze, e, zangu wana wa, ma, wa, wa ma, mama ma, wana wa ma, wana wa ma, mangu mimi kama yeye bwana alivyo hai Uh, kwamba mlio wa koa hai watu hao mimi nisinge waua ninyi msai wa 20 kisha akamwambia yedheri mwanawe mla, mla, uh, mla, mzaliwa wa kwanza haya simama waue hata lakini huyo kijana hakutoa upanga wake maana akacha Uh, kwa sababu alikuwa ni kijana tu praise the name of the lord na bwana litukuzwe exhausted but yet keeping up the pursuit kuchoka lakini bado kuendelea kufuatilia hallelujah hallelujah you may be exhausted labda umechoka but yet you need to keep on the dream lakini bado unahitaji kuendelea kufuatilia pursuit the dream kufuatilia hiyo ndoto the bible say gideon went to the root of the nomads biblia inasema kwamba gideon gideon aka 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 enenda and he got the army when they were not even expecting that he he, he was allowed akapata jeshi wakati hawatarajia kwamba the two kings when they realized that were in danger Ziba and uh, Zamuna the bible says they friend praise the name of the lord he was able to attack them he was able to destroy them hallelujah and he took those two kings and the bible reminds me that even after taking the two kings he had even to tell the boy his own son please kill this this man 
Hallelujah. But you know the, the boy was but a young a young boy. It requires spiritual maturity to fulfill your dream. And it will require only Gideon. Who had the dream with him to kill this man. And so the boy could not kill him. He did not cook and kill them because they, they, he was not ready, not prepared. He was even afraid. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible reminds remind us. He killed them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Gideon stepped forward and killed them. According to the word of the Lord. According to the man of God. Go and destroy the Midianites. And he was able to pursue to the, to the letter. Praise the name of the Lord. He killed them and destroyed them. And he was not, uh, 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 and also the Bible says, he took the ornament, things that, 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 that the king had, of their camel's neck. There were things of value. Praise the name of the Lord. Very, 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 very important things that were very important to go and worship the Lord. But though uh, the, uh, I mean, he, he took them, the Israelites later prostituted by worshiping, uh, uh, the, uh, worshiping them and became a snare. Praise the name of the Lord. May the Lord help us. That even as we flourish, even as we attain our dream, even as we prosper in our dream, that we may not worship other things. That we may not worship even our money. But we may lift the Lord our God. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus. If you read in the later part of this chapter, you realize that is what they did. They forgot what God had done. They forgot the thing that actually Gideon took were our things of value. To be able to be to be used in worship to the Lord. And it became a snare. I pray in the name of the Lord. May you pursue your dream like, like Gideon until you have accomplished. Pursue and you'll be able to capture whatever you require in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Bible says that as Ziba and Siumna they, they, say, they, they say to Gideon Come, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Hallelujah. It is you to do it yourself. That dream is for you. Don't throw it to somebody else. It belongs to you. Be here to accomplish it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever God has uh, 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 said that you, you, you will be, declare it is mine. Pursue to the letter. And God is going to grant you. I pray in the name of the Lord that as you pursue with the strength, they, they, as what, what the Bible says, as is the man so is his strength. Praise the name of the Lord. As is the man, so is his strength. According to the dream God has given to you, pursue it yourself. And I pray in the name of the Lord that you will be able to rejoice one of these days in the name of Jesus. When the 
Lord has granted you your business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Lord has granted you the, what you have been praying for your family. When the Lord has granted you what you have been praying for the church. For the Lord what oh, I mean uh, for the Lord who grant you what you have been pursuing in that dream. Whatever thing whether it is destroy the enemy from within. Amen. The enemy that has been torturing you from within your spiritual life. Hallelujah. If that is your dream, receive it in the name of the Lord. Accomplish that dream. Pursue in the name of Jesus Christ and destroy Hallelujah. whatever enemy has been acting what God has said that you be, you will be. Hallelujah. Do it yourself. Hallelujah. When you do it yourself, you will come there rejoicing. Praise the name of the Lord. And giving glory to the Lord. Amen. You know, Gideon was able to remember this is God who sent me. The people were saying, please rule on us. But he was saying, no. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And because he realized that he has been able to accomplish what the Lord has said to him. What is that dream that you have? Praise the name of the Lord. Are you exhausted? Do you feel like you are lonely? You are, you are weary? You have been trying one day after another yet you find you fail. Praise the name of the Lord. You can pursue. Though you are exhausted, you will win that battle. You will win it in the name of the Lord. I want to pray with you in the name of Jesus Christ that God will help you. Hallelujah. You help you in that dream. Could be you are so exhausted. Could be you are sick like, like you are very, uh, very small. Coming from a very uh, a small village. Maybe you find you are the, 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 the last born. And the Lord has been speaking to you on how you can be able to save your family. Maybe something the God is speaking to you on concerning your family. And you are saying, I even don't have. Maybe you are saying, maybe I am the one who has been getting the Literal income more I may compare with the other. But God is speaking to you. And you know where God sent he accomplished. I pray in the name of the Lord. May the Lord help you. May the Lord give you that deliverance. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are the Lord. Thank you because of what God you are doing in the life of your people. Lord, there are so many people who have great dreams within their life that they want to accomplish. Others have been trying. They have tried for a number of years. They have tried for a number of weeks, a number of months. There are people who have been waiting within the season that we are in. And they feel that they are going down. But go in that time, in their weariness, may you take over, Lord. In their exhaustion, dear Father, may you come, dear Father. I pray the name of Jesus. Be their help. Be their help, Lord. Satan, my Father, from the hands of the enemy, what have been eating their dreams? 
Other people are holding their destiny. I declare in the name of the Lord that they are receiving it in the name of Jesus. That they are accomplishing it in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I declare to you today that you, are, you will be able to win it. Hallelujah. Even though it has taken time, you will be able to win the battle in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. I pray even for those people who feel they are weary, that have been going through hard times. Other is because of sin. May you deliver them. May you come to their rescue, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. I want to pray with you. You have not even given your life to Jesus. And you can say to the Lord, Lord Jesus, I understand the purpose and the situation I am. I have never given your, my, my life to you. I surrender my life today. Oh my God, save me today. Make me your own. May you like your, my name in the book of life. I thank you that you have seen me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I may remind you once again that the service is not over without giving. I want to remind you, friend, please, even in this time, this is the good time that you can be able to remind God the Lord I was able to stand even in hard time. I was able to give my, my, my time, my offering even in hard time. God, may you help me to accomplish my dream. I pray in the name of the Lord as you give your life will not be the same again. You give your time, May you give your offering according to the, the, the strength that the Lord has given you. And I pray that God will prosper you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. May the Lord bless you. Have a good week. God bless you. Amen.